Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new. I'm Jahan and today I'm going to be talking about SPFs. This is a question I get asked from my friends all the time. Which SPFs do you use? Which ones don't leave a white cast? And which ones do sit well under makeup and help with pigmentation? So I'm going to talk to you about the SPFs that I like using. I've got about five or six here which I'm going to share with you. I use a mix between chemical and physical SPFs depending on what my skin is doing and um, because these all have different textures and feels to them. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to just tell you the difference between chemical and physical SPFs. I'm not a dermatologist. These are recommendations by my dermatologist. So I've had to do a little bit of research and I've written it down here just so I don't forget. So mineral sunscreens are ingredients like zinc oxide or titanium dioxide and they're small particles that actually sit on the skin and don't allow the UV rays to actually penetrate the skin. Whereas chemical sunscreens work in a different way, they allow the UV rays to penetrate into the skin and the light is absorbed into the skin and then it dissipates because it creates, converts it into heat away from the skin. So they work in a different type of way, that's a really layman's way of saying it. Um, there's a lot more detail and you can go and do research online as well about the difference between the two. But um, they haven't ever claimed that one is better than the other. Uh, than the other. From my research, there is no you should use this versus that. Um, they, it's, I think it's again, it's about your skin and how it feels on your skin. And also having the same discussion with my dermatologist, I've tried one of the chemical ones that she's recommended before and one of the um, uh, uh, mineral ones that she's recommended and again she said to me it's it's how it's felt and some some irritate my eyes and some don't so some of it a lot of this is trial and error for yourself as well to see which ones you just enjoy using and like it said the best SPF I will say this again towards the end is the SPF that you enjoy using because it's just such an important step in your skincare routine I'm going to talk about the first three all together because they're from the same brand they're a really popular band brand when it comes to SPF it's the La Roche-Posay and Thelios range so La Roche-Posay and Thelios 50 this rate retails at £14 it's a broad spectrum SPF high protection fluid um, it's water resistant sweat and sand resistant and it's easy to apply so it's photo stable UVA and UV B protection which is what you want to look out for when you're looking for sunscreen so you have to give this one a shake I'm just going to show you the texture of this it's very very liquid here and this is a chemical SPF so see how liquidy it is this is a chemical SPF they do sell this in a mineral version but I could only see that on US websites so if you are in the US you can pick up a mineral version of this if that's what you prefer but here we can only get this one, I think, and that's all I've seen in sort of in boots and online. Um, if you see it somewhere else in the mineral form, do let me know in, in if it ships to the UK, because I would be interested to see how that works with the skin. Now this, I've just wiped it off my hand, and I need to, I want to show you it. Um, this, like I said, is a very liquid um, SPF. It looks incredibly white with a bit of a yellow tinge, but as soon as you rub it into the skin, it starts to disappear and leaves no white cast at all and this works on all shades of skin I've seen it on the deepest shades of skin leaving no white cast as well this melts into the skin for me and it leaves a really lovely glow so when sometimes when people say that they've got um a look at that girl's skin sometimes it's probably SPF because SPF really can give you that glow and it's also quite mattifying there, as you can see there on my hand. Um, I have oily skin on my actual face. It does leave more of a sheen. It sits well under makeup, for sure. And I, and I usually use a Glossier Skin Perfecting Tint. So I usually use this under my skin. Or I use the um, Double Wear Foundation under my skin. And it sits perfectly well under there as well. It's SPF 50, like I said, broad spectrum. So this would be my first choice for drugstore um, SPF, really easy to get hold of and recommended by dermatologists, including mine, over and over again. 
In that same range, if you are extremely oily and you are concerned about using such a fluid found, um, SPF, they do it in a mattifying, a dry matte one as well. So this also retails as £14. It's oil-free, dry touch, high protection facial sunscreen. Um, this again is uh, waterproof um, and is formulated for sensitive sun intolerance or prickly heat. So people that are um, prone to those kind of things, leaving no white mask, very water resistant as I mentioned. All of these that I mention actually in this whole range are made for sensitive skins. Um, I have a sense, I, I don't, I wouldn't say necessarily I have sensitive skin, but I, in the past using sunscreen, sometimes I found it can be a bit of an irritant. This is very much, you can see the texture is very, very different. It's, it's thick, it doesn't run. It's much more of a cream. This is incredibly mattifying. And actually, for my oily skin, it's too it's it's actually too mattifying. It would have to be um, if I'm going out for a particularly long day, and um, I don't want anything greasy under my face or some or not that it's greasy, but something oily under my skin. This one, as you can see, it it doesn't leave a white mark, but you have to work it a lot more into your skin. Which is why I don't reach for it as often. I don't like things that I have to really, really work into my skin to get rid of the white cast. But once you have done that, it doesn't leave a white cast, as you can see. It does blend into the skin. And it doesn't leave, um, it doesn't leave the shine or the glow that this one does. It completely is, it, mat it mats right down. So out of the two, I would pick for day to day the liquid one, but I think the mattifying one, if I was on holiday, I'd probably use that more often. And because you have to reapply, you should reapply your sunscreen every couple of hours. I personally prefer to reapply the liquid one to the mattifying one because it's less pulling at my skin. Because for me, I would have to keep rubbing until that white cast goes away, but it does, doesn't leave a white mask. The next one that I want to speak about is this SPF 50 broad spectrum again um, and it's the spray on face mist and this is 14 pounds it's very high broad photo stable UVA UVB again SPF 50 um, anti shine immediate absorption ultra dry finish can be worn on top of makeup, which is why I've got this one, and can be reapplied throughout the day. It's mess-free application, doesn't need rubbing in, and it also is light and cooling on the skin too, because it has a thermal spring water. So this is the one that I put in my handbag and I use when I want to top up my sunscreen on the go. You don't have to rub it in, you can just spray it across your face, and it doesn't leave a white cast, and then put, when you put makeup on, it's really convenient. And it's completely, it's really hygienic because it's in a spray bottle. So this is what it looks like. So it's just a mist like that, basically. No white cast, leaves no residue. Give it a good shake before you do it because um, otherwise it will could leave splots on your face. But as long as you give it splodges on your face, if, but if as long as you give it a good shake beforehand, you'll be two are the Dr. Sam's Flawless Daily Sunscreen. Now this is empty and I haven't repurchased this one. So I'm not gonna be able to show you the texture, but it uh, is a, it's cost 29 pounds, and it is like a, uh, a very thick moisturizing cream. It feels really nice on the skin. It calms the skin, and it's for blemish prone skin as well, which is why I liked it. Um, it's got niacinamide in to also brighten the skin. It's 5% niacinamide. And it is a broad spectrum sunscreen. It has um, zinc oxide and titanium oxide in as well. So it's a mineral sunscreen and it works really well under um, makeup. This one's a higher price point and it, it has skincare benefits in it as well. So this is why it's made by a dermatologist. It's, it's true skincare as well as sun care. It's um, waterproof and sweatproof and also leaves zero white cast. So if you're in the market for something 
a bit, oh, so there's a tiny bit left actually. If you're in the market for something slightly more expensive, um, more luxury feeling, then I would recommend that this one for sure. She's done lots of research into, into this product. Um, is a very good product and I would repurchase again. I've just been trying out so many sunscreens I haven't had a chance to repurchase it. I'm just rubbing it into the back of my hand now and you can see there, no white cast and that's actually left that lovely sheen again on my skin. So you could wear that and you're good to go if, you, if, if all you like to put is SPF on your skin. Alongside this she does another one which is in a similar shape bottle to this. It's a Gossamer one. And the Gossamer one is for those who have got really oily skin and um, want something a bit more mattifying on the skin but still leaves a nice glow to the skin. So it's a very clever product. Doesn't leave white cast and that also comes in a tinted version too. So she comes in two varieties in that one. And that's SPF 50 broad spectrum as well. I'll just tell you a bit more about that. It's a, it's a lightweight mineral for, um, broad spectrum SPF, zero white cast and with glowy protection. So as I mentioned before, it's no white cast but glowy. The reason why um, I prefer this one over the Gossamer one is because, again, like the La Roche-Posay matte one, you have to work with it a bit more to get rid of the white cast. And I really don't like that feeling of having to rub and rub and rub it into my skin to get rid of the white cast. It's not doesn't sink into your skin as well as the others. And that's just my skin personally. I've looked on the reviews online and people absolutely love it. It works really well from them, for them. And as I mentioned before, the best sunscreen is the sunscreen that you really enjoy using. So if you think a more mattifying one at a higher price point, definitely has more of a luxury feel, has those skincare benefits in it as well. It does contain niacinamide, shea butter as well, um, zinc oxide, titanium dioxide. So it is a powerful UVA, UVA, um, protection to if you want something more expensive I would definitely recommend the, the sunscreens that sit in Dr Sam Bunting's skincare range. Uh, 14 pounds again is a Eurocin Factor 50 pigment control so this is a, a newer discovery for me I bought this in the boots they do a 10 pounds Tuesday and I thought I'll give this one a try because it said pigmentation in which also always makes my ears light up and it's a um, broad spectrum, UVA, UVA, very high, um, neutralising free radicals sunscreen. It's very enriched and feels very thick. So it's definitely for those with dry skin would benefit from this. Um, it leaves that nice sheen in your skin. It is scented, but it is quickly absor absorbed into the skin as well. So this is what this one looks like. I think it's a very similar um, texture to the, as in thickness, sorry, to the La Roche-Posay matte version, but it's not as drying, it's incredibly moisturising. It blends out into this nice, quite soothing cream. So here you go. Again, leaves that nice sheen on your skin and no white cast. So I would definitely recommend this one as well. Ones, I like to add in something at a really low price point, which I think is really good too. And my back recommendation is the Bondi Sands one. I picked this up on a whim from ASOS one day because I had run out of all my sunscreens. And this one is a broad, broad spectrum SPF with UVA, UB, UVB protection again, it's fragrance free, fast absorbing and gentle on the skin, lasts up to four hours. The only concern of this one I had was, would it clog my pores? My dermatologist checked the ingredients and she said, no, I was good to go, this was fine. So it doesn't clog your, clog your pores e either. And this only costs about six pounds, so it's really inexpensive for good broad spectrum sunscreen. So that's why I wanted to feature that one today. It claims that it's uh, water resistant to four hours. I'm not sure if I just mentioned that. Um, it's got vitamin E and it says it's non-greasy. I'm not gonna lie, that non-greasy claim is probably not true. <laughs> um, this is out of all of them, um, is probably the greasiest on my face. 
Makeup still sits perfectly well on this. Again, I'm oily skinned. Sometimes can be oily but dehydrated, but I am oily skinned. And this still fits, sits very well under my makeup. Um, it doesn't stop oil coming through as much as the others, but it definitely sits well. Leaves a really nice sheen on my skin again. This is what it looks like when it comes out. So very white when it comes out. I'm just moisture, put, rub that into my skin. And then very, again, easily absorbed and no white cast. So it works just as well as the others. It's really inexpensive. So if you are at pinch and you want SPF, you don't have to spend loads and loads as I think we all were led to believe at one point that we need to spend loads and loads on a really high SPF because it does get more expensive the higher the, um, the factor. Um, but this one has got broad spectrum and it's only six pounds. So it's for me, this is perfect for those on a pinch. Just so it sinks in, the best SPF are the ones that you will actually use. It's really important to use SPF every day even if you're indoors i've got lots of windows in my house so lots of light comes in so even if you're if you've got a bright space then put spf on if you're sitting indoors and you're in a bright space obviously if you're not then it's not necessary but if you're in a bright space and you're facing the sun even in the winter because it's it's getting to autumn winter now but it's such a beautiful day and the sun is out it's important just to protect the skin on your face you only get one face and then and, and you want to protect it so and it's the best anti-aging of product of all of the anti-aging products is sunscreen so i hope you found this video interesting and enjoyable and informative again if you've got any recommendations do let me know below please give the video a like and share with a friend and i would love to chat to you in the pro in the comments so please go away and leave me a comment and i will see you soon take care Thank you.